Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for coming to my phone recorded video. Um, this is, is in response to a thousand subscribers, and that's Bulbasaur. But, a thousand subscribers, that's a big milestone for really anybody, especially on YouTube, but um, thank you, really thank you. Some might compare, you know, some people's success against other people, but for me, not really, not really, I really don't care. Um, but a thousand subs for me, that's pretty great. Um, thank you for all of your support through views, through subscriptions, likes, and comments on all of my videos, both current and, uh, in the future. So, for a thousand subs, for a thousand subscribers, I said I would reveal another cat. And today, we've got another animal here. He might be a little hard to see, but look at him. Now that is Binky. It's kind of hard to see him. Uh, he's obviously a very nice dark kitty. A very nice dark kitty. Right now, at the current time of this recording, which I'm doing on my phone, he's about 10 years old. We got him when we moved to my current state, and he's pretty pretty large, I would say. Right, Bink? Binky? Yeah? Yeah, you, you, you're pretty darn large, Binky. He loves eating all the time. He loves snacks. When he licks himself, he's very loud. And he's very friendly as long as you feed him. Even if you don't feed him, he's still a pretty friendly cat. Um, even though he's kind of a big cat, when we got him, he was almost so small I could hold him in my hand. Like, he was tiny. Very, very tiny. But now, I'm going to go show you um, a few other things regarding Binky. Binky, come on. Come on. Come on, get on those hind legs. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, good boy, good boy. Come on. Binky. Hey. Hey. Oh. Come on, Pink. Hmm. Sorry, litter box. Mm. Alright, so if you ever wonder why you might hear my cat Binky in the background of some of my videos getting very loud, it's because he's having a little good time um, with my clothes on my bed. So, Bink, you okay? You okay? You okay? Hello? He, this is what he does. He does this for quite a while. He perks his little back legs up. He is a very large animal. So he usually is meowing by this point, oh, but he's very quiet this time. Oh, okay. You all right, Pink? Come on. Give everybody a little bit of love. He's very, very focused, but that's pretty much what he does. He gets very, um, testy, we'll say. A little testy. So, see you in just a little bit, guys. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed Binky, guys. He's definitely a special animal. But, anyways, we are at a thousand plus subs, as you can tell by my channel analytics. But now I want to talk about the future of this channel going forward, at least for now. Um, so, recently, I did a series, or a little campaign, over the Outer Worlds. Um, I really enjoyed it, and I really enjoy narrative or story-driven games. That being said, if I have time, I will continue to do more and more story-driven games on this channel. I'm thinking about maybe adding some Fallout New Vegas, maybe eventually maybe a little bit of Bioshock, Fallout 3, other story-driven games like that, or even something completely random from time to time. If I have time, I am a student, I am very busy, I've got like things I should be doing right now, but whatever. Um, but yeah, Hoi 4, Hearts of Iron 4, will always be the main game on this channel, but I'm going to add in some more stuff from here on out if I have time. Secondly, I want to talk about monetization. Now, I know that YouTube right now is going down a certain path, we'll say. And I don't know what the future holds, but if possible, maybe if possible, I can and most likely will monetize my channel as long as I don't get anything like copyright strikes or get sued or anything like that. 
I don't want that. I definitely don't want that. But if that doesn't happen, I probably will end up putting ads on my video. Now, that being said, I use YouTube a lot. When I'm playing games or doing homework or studying or researching stuff, I'm on YouTube. And you know what I don't like? I don't like seeing like 20,000 ads on a video. It's not cool. That being said, I think I will tr attempt to put on a fair number of ads. For example, for a potential video, maybe I'll have like an ad like on the right side of the screen, just like a stationary ad, and maybe another ad at the bottom of a video. That's it. I don't like seeing ads that are at the beginning, the middle, and at the end of a certain YouTube video. That's not me. That's not my goal. That ain't cool. If I'm putting ads on, they're going to be stationary, and they're try to impact you as least as possible. I, I get it. I really get it. I don't like seeing ads that interrupt the video. So, my hope is to monetize the channel, but... I'm not just going to flat out just ruin this channel by just throwing a bunch of ads on there, which will get me basically nothing. So, But I'll let you know if YouTube eventually hits the fan because YouTube is being special, then I'll probably only upload a bit shoot, which I have about 30 subs on there for now. But, of course, time will tell what happens. So regardless, thank you very much for everything, all your support, guys. I, it means a lot to me. You know, a thousand plus subs, finally, after doing this for over two years now. Awesome. I really I really like it, guys. I, thank you. That's all I can say is really just thank you. But um, anyways, uh, I really appreciate your support, and I hope you guys all have a great, great day.